Hello students. Welcome to session 2 of Sorry. Students, in today's session, we will continue this process of weathering, which comes under the formation of soil. So we are going to discuss about one interesting topic, and that is process of weathering. Now students, before starting with this process of weathering, let us revise that what is meant by weathering. Yes, weathering is the process of the breaking down of rocks and there are two different types of weathering, physical weathering and chemical weathering. In physical weathering, it breaks down the rocks but what is made of stays the same. Means, rocks are broken down into smaller pieces and does not involve any change in the characteristics of the original rock. So it is just a mechanical process. While chemical weathering is a process in which existing minerals are broken down into new mineral components. Means in chemical weathering it still breaks down the rocks but it may change what it is made up of. Like the chemical nature of the rock gets changed in chemical weathering. So now let us discuss about the process of weathering in detail. Yes students, the process of weathering can be divided into three stages. Stage 1, stage 2, stage 3. Now what happens in stage 1? Students, here you can see the beautiful picture of stage 1. That means the stage 1 of soil formation. Now we know that soil formation is a very slow and stepwise process and it takes thousands of years to form a layer of soil just a few centimeters thick. So it is a result of continuous breaking down of rocks. So in the first stage, huge pieces of parent rock began to break up near the surface. Near this surface, the huge pieces of parent rock began to break up near the surface, which can take place due to physical or chemical changes. Means, this disintegrating of rock can take place or the huge pieces of parent rock begin to break up into smaller pieces by some natural forces such as wind, water, frost, roots of plants etc. And then comes the stage 2. In stage 2 Smaller rocks continue to undergo weathering, making the upper layer full of very fine rock particles. So what happens here? You can see the beautiful image of stage 2 of soil formation. Here is the organic matter. Here is the parent matter or parent material which has already been broken down into smaller pieces or smaller rocks. This is also the stage 2 in which you can see that there is a layer of humus and there are mineral fragments in organic matter too. Right, So smaller rocks continue to undergo weathering making the upper layer full of very fine rock particles here and bacteria and other microorganisms break down this plant or animal remains to form humus and that is why in stage 2 humus forms and other mineral fragments and organic matter also forms. Now students who here you will be very amazed to know that earthworms, earthworms burrows act as tunnels which allow water to move quickly and provide pathways for roots to grow. That is why roots grow here because of earthworms. They are farmers friend. They are popularly called as farmers friends. 
because they decompose dead plants and animal matter and their castings their feces their castings are valuable as fertilizer and they make the soil full of nutrients so it makes the soil nutritious which is good for the growth and development of plants on the upper layer of soil so this weathering undergoes and this weathering this smaller rocks continue to undergo weathering and it makes up the upper layer full of very fine rock particles so remember students that bacteria and other microorganisms like earthworms they break down plant or animal remains to form humus on this upper layer and this makes the soil very fertile rich in organic material and in several minerals which are vital to plant growth so this is stage 2 after this comes stage 3 yes in stage 3 minerals and salts seep into the ground along with water to complete the formation of soil and make it favorable for plant growth so here you can see that the growth of roots growth and development of plants take place as comparatively to stage 2 which we saw so in stage 3 the roots will develop the plants will grow towards sunlight then this organic matter is formed and here is the parent material where weathering has already taken place so minerals and salts along with water completes the formation of soil and it make makes it favorable for plant growth so these are the three main stages of the process of weathering now let us see that what are the factors which affect the soil formation yes before going to that let us see this beautiful picture again this these are the four st- uh, sorry three stages of soil formation now here you can see that this is stage 1 this is stage 2 and this is stage 3 right so huge pieces of parent rock began to break up near the surface due to physical and chemical changes then these smaller rocks continue to undergo weathering making up the upper layer full of nutrition for the plants to grow then bacteria and microorganisms also break down plant or animal remains to form humus which makes the soil very fertile and rich in organic material and in several minerals which are vital to plant growth and lastly minerals and salts seep into the ground along with water to complete this formation of soil and growth and development of plants take place right now let us discuss about the factors affecting soil formation now students there are number of factors which affect soil formation with climate characteristics of the parent rock slope of land so these are some of the factors which we are going to discuss so let us now discuss about these factors in detail students the first factor which we are going to discuss here is climate students climatic factors or weathering forces such as temperature rain wind etc 
play an important role in loosening and breaking up of rocks which is also termed as the physical weathering so these weathering forces play very important role in loosening and breaking up of rocks because of which disintegration of rocks takes place then water in rock crevices expands when it freezes causing the rocks to crack so this is also one of the factor which affects the soil formation because in the soil formation first of all the huge pieces of rocks should be broken down into smaller pieces so these factors add an advantage to the formation of soil then the rocks are also worn down by wind by heavy wind even the soil formation is fastest or rapid in hot moist climates and it is slowest in cold dry climates so what happens that in the warm and wet tropics bacterial activity is high and it thoroughly decomposes dead plant and animal matter and as the desert regions have very little vegetation and animal life limited decaying material is available for the soil so always remember that the lack of rainfall leads to the formation of coarse textured soil in arid regions and in areas having severe winters bacterial activity is very slow remember that bacterial activity is high in warm and wet tropics and that is why decomposition is also very rapid but if there is lack of rainfall then it will lead to formation of coarse textured soil in arid regions and because of this bacterial activity slows down which causes the dead plant and animal matter to build up very slowly hence what happens the rate of soil formation and the type of soil formed depends upon the climate of a place means whether it is raining or not whether rain is available for a uh, for the soil or not hence it directly affects the bacterial activity so if bacterial activity is high decomposition will take place rapidly and if bacterial activity is very slow then decomposition rate will be also will also be decreased thus the rate of soil formation and the type of soil formed depends on a climate of a place and that is why this is one of the very big factor which affects the formation of soil now let us see the other two factors which affects the formation of soil yes another factor is characteristics of the parent rock or parent material now here the composition of the parent rock also determines the kind of fo soil formed for example if the parent rock is rich in calcium the soil formed by its weathering or the breaking down of rocks would also be rich in calcium so the composition of parent rock determines the kind of soil formed and this is also one of the very important factor which affects the soil formation because if there is any parent rock which is lacking some mineral then the soil formed by its weathering would also be lacking that mineral and that will affect the formation of soil because if there is lack of any necessary or essential mineral in the soil then weathering will not take place rapidly and thereby there will be no nutrition available for the plant growth thus it affects the growth and development of a plant so this is one such factor which affects soil formation third factor is the slope of land 
Here, the physical features of a place also play an important role in the formation of soil. Like hilly areas, they generally have a thin layer of soil because running water and wind, it tends to take away the soil down the slope. On flat plains, soil remains relatively undisturbed, leading to the formation of a thick layer. So this is also one of the very important factor which we should keep in mind. And there are physical features like hilly areas, mountainous regions, flat plains. So these areas differ and their layers of soil also differ. Some have thin layers, some areas have thick layers. So there is undisturbed formation of soil. So this is also one of the important factors. So students, we are through with the soil formation, the process of weathering which is divided into three stages and the factors affecting soil formation. What are the three factors which we studied? Yes, climate, characteristics of the parent rock and slope of land. So in next session we will continue this chapter and we will learn more about soil. I hope you liked today's session. We will meet in the next session. Have a nice time. Till then, keep enjoying. Thank you students.